Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about Wonderware DA server, in particularly Modbus TCP. So this is a part one of uh, the uh, DA server Modbus TCP. Um, part one, I'll show you how to install uh, the uh, Orchestra M uh, DA server uh, Modbus uh, TCP. And in part two, I'll show you how to create a tag and you can actually potentially test it, uh, your connection and all that stuff. So uh, starting with part one, um, the when you install uh, Wonderware, um, by default, they do not install the uh, Modbus DA server, so you have to manually install it. Uh, it is pretty evident when you open up your system management console. So I'm going to open up the well, Wonderware uh, system management console here, right here. Click this guy. Say yes. So the system, Orchestra System Management Console is launched here. So if you expand the DA Server Manager, you'll see that uh, it's only got the Orchestra FS Gateway, which is used for OPC and, uh, and all that stuff. Uh, you need another icon here uh, dedicated to orchestra.dasmbtcp.3. Uh, so you'll need that. So in order to get that uh, DA Server, you're going to have to install it. Uh, you should be getting a second CD uh, with a DA server in it. Uh, it's got uh, other other protocol driver in there too, but our interest is mostly along the line of uh, Modbus. So um, I'm going to close this SMC, our uh, orchestra system manager. So I'm going to open up my driver. So this is a Modbus TCP uh, DA server driver. You can actually download it uh, if you have the capacity. I mean, it's given on a CD. But anyways, double click on the setup. Next, just accept it, next, next. And you'll see that uh, you're actually installing a DA server. Uh, then you're going to click it. They'll give you an option where to install your DA server. You can browse it and all that stuff. But I'm going to keep everything as default. I'm going to click next, next. Okay, looks like it's done. Just uh, you can ignore the read, and now you're done. So the next thing you do is launch your system management console and see if it's there. System management console. Say yes. So once your SMC uh, management is launched, expand your DA server again. Default group, local, and this time around you'll see your driver. Right now it's showing an X, but as soon as you put all your configuration and all your topics in here, this should turn green. Anyway, that will be part two uh, of this video. Um, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, have a good day. Bye.